Yeah, you know, today is December 1st. It's the first day of meteorological winter, December, January, and February. Actual winter that you're probably used to happens obviously around the 21st or so, but you can see Bellwether Beach. I figure it's appropriate for us here in the Tampa area to start winter out on the beach. And what a gorgeous day it's going to be. Courtney mentioned the breezes, so it is bumpy. We have small craft exercise cost advisories out there, but look at this forecast for this afternoon. Mid to upper 70s with sunshine all day. That breeze actually feels nice and the humidity has dropped as well. Let's go over the big board. Let's talk about that uh, first day of meteorological winter. So again, it's, it's the three months, December, January, and February, and you can see obviously we have spring, we have summer, we have fall. Uh, but what, what's changed here is for the longest time, our coolest average high temperature for the year occur, well, it still does, occurs in January, but that used to be 70 degrees, and we've warmed a little bit. It's now 71, so you tell all your friends and family that don't live here, like, yeah, the, the coolest the average high temperature in Tampa is, is 71 degrees, and it's pretty much the whole month of January. So we're looking ahead, this is, takes us out through about the 11th. We're going to stay warmer than average. Average is about 76, 77. We're going to be about 80, 82 next several days. This goes again through the 11th. Now, when we look at December as a whole, that's likely going to cool a little bit. And if you follow on my Facebook page, I talked about the, the NAO. It's, it's basically looking at pressures up here versus there. And if there's a difference, is it higher or lower? That difference means cooler air in the eastern United States or warmer air. It looks like by the middle of the month, we could actually get a pretty good shot of cold air, at least for the eastern half of the United States. That will trickle down in here. And if you look at the month of December, you can see it does cool just a little bit, although it does say it's going to stay a little bit warmer than average. So we'll see what happens by the middle of the month, but just something I'm keeping an eye on. That's almost perfect. Low 70s with sunshine out there. We do have some 60s, Hernando and Citrus County. Breezes are up, gusting to 21 in Lakeland, 18. Tampa frostproof, 28 mile per hour wind gust in Venice this past hour. It's bringing in some slightly cooler air, but look, look at the rest of the country. I mean, 81 in Key West, 73 in Tampa, just about everybody else is much, much cooler than that, 50s. Uh, across the southern tier of the United States. We have clear skies, just a couple clouds over on the east coast. Frontal boundary came through with those showers yesterday. Down to the south, it's gone. It's out of here. We have some really nice weather. Now, a northeast wind is, I'd say a relatively warmer wind. A, a much cooler wind would come in out of the north and the west. We don't have that. We have a northeast wind, so that's why we will not cool off a whole lot behind this front. Tomorrow morning, we start clear. We go through the afternoon with a little bit more of an easterly wind. And so that will keep us again on the milder side. So that's why we're thinking slightly above average temperatures next several days. So really nice forecast slowly down through the 70s for this evening into the lower 60s. Watch the bumps out there because we do have that small craft exercise caution advisory. 72 degrees December 1st, 72 degrees in the water. Tomorrow morning we'll wake up most areas in the low 60s. Mid to upper 50s uh, for the Nature Coast, basically Hernando and Citrus County. December 1st, December 2nd, I tell you, if you've just moved here, you still, even if you've lived here forever, it, having 80 degrees the beginning of December is really nice. That is a fantastic forecast. Sunny skies, 80. And in fact, look at this stretch Monday, Tuesday. When, by the way, the weekend, incredible, just like tomorrow. And then we'll actually see a little bit of a cool down. It looks like it would get towards next weekend, but even right now, it doesn't look like to be a big cool down. I'm watching more around the 15th, 16th of the month to see if we get some cool shot of air coming down. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. 80 for a high, low 60s for a low. All right, don't forget you can get our forecast on the radio. You can hear it on 105.5 The Dove, 107.3 The Eagle, Magic 94.9, and 106.9 WSRQ.